In 2024, a routine paleontological survey in Patagonia unearthed something impossible. The fossil bore markers of the Cretaceous period, yet carbon dating suggested otherwise. Dr. Elena Marquez held in her hands what shouldn't exist, evidence of a creature that defied 65 million years of accepted extinction theory. The shadow species investigation had begun. The laboratory results shattered everything. Carbon dating placed the specimen at 12,000 years old, the age of early human civilizations, not dinosaurs. But the morphology was undeniably theropod. Either the dating was catastrophically wrong or something had survived. The scientific community faced an impossible choice, accept the data or reject reality itself. History whispered what science refused to hear. Medieval bestiaries described great lizards with anatomical precision no artist should possess. Indigenous oral traditions across three continents spoke of thunder reptiles hunted to extinction in recent millennia. Were these mere myths or ancestral memories of encounters with something that shouldn't have existed? If a species could survive, where would it hide? The Congo Basin holds 2 million square kilometers of unexplored land, satellite-resistant canopy, undocumented regions. Dr. Marquez's team found 12 isolated habitats worldwide, shadow zones where megafauna might still exist, untouched by extinction. Evolution's cruelest joke, survival through specialization. While massive dinosaurs perished, smaller theropods, adapted to varied diets, endured. Lower metabolism, omnivorous habits, nocturnal behavior, genetics hint not at survivors, but at a strategy. Become invisible, become shadows, wait for the world to forget. Science guards its truths jealously. Dr. Marquez faced institutional excommunication. Colleagues whispered about contaminated samples, procedural errors, even fraud. The evidence threatened textbooks, careers, decades of accepted wisdom. Admitting a dinosaur survived meant admitting science had been wrong for over a century. Some truths are too expensive to accept. Eight researchers, four months supplies, one impossible hypothesis. The expedition would penetrate 300 kilometers into unexplored Congo rainforest, territory where map makers still write insufficient data. If the shadow species existed, this team would find it. If they were wrong, careers would end. If they were right, history would shatter. The canopy closed behind them like a door. Satellite contact, intermittent. Extraction point, four days march. The jungle was a living fortress, evolved across millennia to hide secrets. If something survived here, it survived by being unfindable. The team deployed camera traps in a 50-kilometer grid. Now came the oldest scientific method. Waiting. Camera trap 14. 3.47 a.m. Something crossed the frame. The thermal signature read, Warm-blooded. Impossible for reptiles. The gait pattern showed bipedal locomotion. Size estimate, 4 meters tall. The footage was 11 seconds long. Those 11 seconds divided history into before and after. Something was out there. Something that walked like thunder. The prints were fresh, just hours old. Each track 48 centimeters, matching a medium theropod. The stride showed caution, sharp awareness. Not a clumsy survivor, but an apex predator of its domain. 65 million years of evolution captured in stone. Proof literally set in the ground. The feeding behavior told stories. Unlike crocodiles or big cats, this predator used precision strikes, severing major arteries before consumption. The carcass showed intelligence. Meat stripped efficiently, bones cracked for marrow. Modern scavengers hadn't touched it. They knew. Animals always know when something older, something more dangerous, claims territory. Fear has memory. The call came at 2.34 a.m. Subsonic. Felt more than heard. Resonating in chest cavities, vibrating equipment. 
Frequency analysis matched theoretical reconstructions of theropod vocalization. Territorial warning. It was close. Perhaps 50 meters. The jungle had gone absolutely silent. Everything that lived here knew that sound. Everything except humans. We were the only species that had forgotten. Seven minutes and 43 seconds. That's how long she stood at the waterhole. Four meters of living history. Scaled hide like ancient armor. A crest of protofeathers catching morning light. She moved with predatory grace. Evolution spent eons perfecting. Dr. Marquez's hands shook so violently the camera nearly fell. Tears ran down her face. Science had been wrong. Protocol demanded the evidence. They had 400 photographs. 18 minutes of video. Audio recordings. Track casts. Tissue samples from feeding sites. DNA extraction pending. The documentation was irrefutable. But Dr. Marquez understood something the others didn't yet grasp. This discovery would be more burden than triumph. Some truths the world isn't ready to accept. Dracorex persistence. The persistent dragon. A medium theropod surviving through nocturnal habits, omnivorous diet, and deep jungle isolation. 50 to 200 individuals in three hidden populations. An entire shadow ecosystem. Evolution's secret. Hiding in plain sight for 12,000 years. The world split instantly. Fundamentalists saw proof. Conspiracy theorists cried cover-up. Scientists divided, believers and deniers. Social media exploded. Beneath the chaos, harder questions arose. What else had science missed? What else lurked hidden? Had institutions known? Suppressed evidence? Trust fractured. Who owns a living fossil? The discovery spanned four nations. Impoverished, yet eyeing tourism, research, and pharmaceutical gains. Conservationists demanded protection. Corporations bid for access. Indigenous communities claimed ancestral lands. Dr. Marquez watched her discovery become a geopolitical chess piece. Finding it was only the beginning. Indonesia confirmed multiple relict populations, each isolated for millennia. Subtle differences. Lighter build, altered crest, revealed parallel evolution. Shielded by remote islands from ice ages, climate shifts, and human expansion, these creatures survived. The question now, not just how did one survive, but how many have endured? Museums worldwide reopened their archives. Hundreds of Cretaceous fossils were retested. 37 returned impossible dates. Within the last 15,000 years, the KPG extinction wasn't total. Some lineages survived in hidden refuges overlooked by science. The story of extinction as we knew it had shattered. The elders had tried to warn them. For generations, indigenous communities spoke of the old hunters, massive lizards that took cattle, demanding respect and distance. Anthropologists dismissed them as myths. Now, their stories were validated. Western science had been too arrogant to listen. These communities never forgot what shared the forest. Should humans intervene, provide care if individuals suffer, or feed them during droughts, or remain completely hands-off, letting nature take its course. Dr. Marcus argued for minimal interference. These creatures had survived 12,000 years without us. Others disagreed. The debate revealed a deeper question. Can humanity resist controlling what it discovers? Three million hectares across four continents received immediate protection. No tourism. No research except passive monitoring. Armed guards prevent poaching. The shadow species would remain shadows, watched but undisturbed. It was humanity's first conscious decision to leave a discovery alone. Perhaps the first mature response to finding something that doesn't need saving. Dr. Marquez watches the monitors, knowing certainty is an illusion. Five years since the discovery, questions multiply. How many more populations exist? What else survived that we declared extinct? The shadow species exposed science's greatest flaw. 
Assuming absence of evidence is evidence of absence. The jungle keeps its secrets, and perhaps it should. If this story made you question what still hides beyond our maps, subscribe and share. Every view helps us uncover the unseen. Because the Earth's greatest mysteries may not be in the past, but still alive somewhere.